live from London, England, it's theCUBE. Covering Discover 2016 London. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now here's your host, Dave Vellante and Paul Gillis. Everybody, we're in London. This is the Cube wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Three days here at uh, HPE Discover 2016. Dave Chopra is here. He's the vice president uh, at Wipro, and he's joined by Maya Barat, who's the vice president of strategic alliances at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Gentlemen, welcome to the Cube. Thank you. Good morning, Maya. A lot of people don't know that Wipro and HPE have had. Well, I guess HP before HPE have had a long partnership, um, almost two decades. That's right. Uh, Take us back, describe a little bit about the partnership and how it started and where you've taken it. What are the phases that you've seen in that yeah. journey? Yeah. It's actually a very unique partnership both for uh, HPE and Wipro. I think uh, we are two partners who have grown together as uh, HP and then as Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Uh, it's also, I think, the uniqueness of the partnership is that it's a truly symbiotic partnership over the last uh, 18 years. Uh, so there's a lot of give and take between the two organizations. And uh, to me, I think the biggest part about the partnership with uh, Wipro is that we really operate on a set of shared values. Uh, when I look at uh, you know, the way Wipro does business, yes, winning is important to Wipro, but it's equally important to them how they win in the marketplace. And that resonates very well with uh, integrity as a HPE value. Uh, the other thing to me that's really unique about this partnership and the way it's evolved is really about the trust and respect that we carry for each other between the two organizations. Uh, and lastly, just the way we collaborate as one team in front of the customer, I think really sets this apart for a very unique partnership. Uh, Dave, uh, can you comment on, on Wipro's evolution? I think many people would have a sort of a legacy uh, impression of Wipro as being an offshore programming shop. 200,000 people, obviously, you're, you've, you've come a long way since then. Uh, how has Wipro evolved from those roots? I think that's a very interesting question and, and it is a, is it, the answer is very telling in itself. And if you look at the media coverage that Wipro has got in the last at least about one year, uh, after our new CEO has taken over, there is a lot of strategic intent in trying to evolve the company into a more engagement oriented company, a more digital uh, transformation company than just being an offshore centric uh, rudimentary programming or support company. Not that we are shying away from that business, that remains to be a core of what we do, but just an as an example, if you see Chelsea football, and that happens to be one of the cornerstones of the HP and Wipro partnership, where we are trying to work together to, to, to really change the way fans engage with, with the football community. Uh, and now that's spreading to each and every stadium in the world, right? Where, where the revenue models are just not buying tickets, but, but it's the whole uh, ecosystem of what, what comes along with it. That's a reflection of how Wipro is evolving. If you look at uh, the last uh, acquisition we did about a month ago, which is Aperio, uh, is, in the, is, in the, is in the business of, of cloudification and, and really taking customers from where they are today and taking them to platforms that help them do their business better. Um, a part of that continues to be offshoring, outsourcing, globalization as we call it, but a large part of that is really transforming the way those customers serve their end customers. So I would say that's the evolution of Wipro and these probably are two telling examples, Aperio and the Chelsea Football Club, which should help people uh, uh, here understand how Wipro is transforming itself. Well, Mayor, that, that begs the question of when would HP bring in a, a Wipro as opposed to Accenture we just had on theCUBE mm -hmm. or one of your other uh, consulting partnerships? Yeah, so I think the beauty about the uh, Wipro engagement, as I was saying, partnership goes back uh, 18 years. We understand what strengths uh, Wipro has. Uh, so Wipro is very strong in a couple of industry segments, uh, take it the manufacturing vertical or energy and utilities. Uh, we know that Wipro is just cutting edge out there. So when there is a deal going on on the table in any of these segments, uh, we actually make it a point to proactively partner with Wipro very early on. Uh, we know that uh, they're the best in the industry in a couple of these segments, and that's where the uh, trust and also the relationship of the partnership comes in. What were the sweet spots again? Manufacturing utilities? Manufacturing, energy and utilities, and the financial services segment. And that's it. So, let's talk about those a little bit. What's happening, you know, you talk, well, you talk about digital transformation. What's happening in those, in those industries? What are you seeing as the big mega trends? If you look at the, financial industry, right? Uh, and this is not just the major economies of the world, which is United States or, or, or UK. 
But if you look at even Latin America, if you look at the broader parts of Europe, and now it's bleeding into, uh, into the Eastern markets, uh, the financial sector ha is under a pressure that was never before. Uh, with Brexit happening and now the elections in the United States. If you just look at how the Dow moves, how the NASDAQ moves, how the DAX moves, the, the variability on those aspects is just mind-boggling. Now to support that environment, just think about the infrastructure and the applications that churn at the back. Uh, most of our customers are moving away from branch operations to branchless operations to digital mobility application, and I don't know last time when I was in a bank trying to submit a check, all of those things are done remotely. It's just very intuitive for a consumer to think about the banking sector, but the amount of infrastructure, applications, testing, digital transformation, engagement, GUI, setup that happens, of, and years of planning and execution is a gold mine for, 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 for partners like Wipro, HP, and many, many others in the market space. If you look at the manufacturing world with 3D printing and, 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 and elimination of, uh, now you have restaurants serving uh, food through robots and I'm sure with Wipro Homes we're going to get there soon, but the point is that the cost modeling of, of how the automotive sector or, the, or, or, or uh, the broader manufacturing sector is set up uh, is transforming itself to, to again not only automate how those things are built, but also automate the engagement and bring more life to it. So that's the evolution that you see in these sectors, and I think it's it's only possible with, with cutting edge technology. And then energy, obviously, changing quite dramatically. Smart planet, falling. smart infrastructure, smart cities. Uh, uh, Wipro, have, in fact, was the first one to, to set up uh, or partner with the government of India in, in such segments. Um, we have done uh, massive engagements. I don't know if, if you know there is an in, uh, there is a gathering of sorts, about tens of fifteens of million in India called Kumbh Mela. Um, it happens on a periodic basis, I think every four years. Uh, uh, and there were losses of life, property, because it was just uncontrollable footfall. And now with IoT and uh, the smarter engagement, uh, last year we won, the, we won the government award for trying to manage uh, video surveillance and IoT-based people management, not only to, to avoid such incidents, but if it had happened, try to control and narrow down and, and avoid mass uh, uh, panic, panic attacks. So, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Typically, in, in an engagement, who drives the engagement? Does HPE bring in Wipro? Does Wipro bring in HPE? Uh, who tends to be the leader in the... Uh, yeah, again, I, uh, you know, as I said, it's a very symbiotic partnership, so there are instances where we bring in uh, Wipro into one of our top customers and uh, vice versa, there are several instances where Wipro brings in HPE on, on some of their large reads, so again, I said a very symbiotic relationship between the two of us. Uh, Dave, you were talking about so, uh, what's going on in India. What are some areas where U.S. companies, uh, European companies, should look to India as a leader now, as a technology leader? Um, I would say uh, the first and foremost should be in the area of automation. Uh, automation Robotics? Um, I think it is very difficult to box the term automation today. Uh, it is all the way from robotics to artificial intelligence to the old school thought of robotic process automation, so on and so forth. I think it's, it's going to change the way, and it has been, and it will continue to change the way that we do business, right? So that's one. And if you really look at the pace at which the outsourcing of the globalization market, specifically in infrastructure and applications, has been working is a telling story. The second thing would be, uh, and I therefore don't call it an India-based phenomena, it's a global phenomena of digital, or digitalization, not digitization, where, where customers, partners, and, 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 and providers like HP or, or what have you, are coming together to form something unique. A Chelsea club is an example, Chelsea football is an example, and there are many, many more to that. The third is trying to become more vertically oriented, bring integrated solutions, where today the customer will not come and ask for pointed, uh, give me you know, my, my stuff for less, but it's change the way I am doing, run the business and change the business, and therefore you need a lot more integration of, of everything that you have in, 
under the umbrella of Wipro and NHP to come together and resolve that problem. And last I would say is IP. If you, if you really look at, and we at Wipro have figured out a way of remembering it, we call it DIDI, which is digital, innovation, IP, domain, and automation, uh, and intelligence, right? And if you really look at how these forces are coming together, they are changing the way uh, our customers engage with us and are changing our business model, right? We don't necessarily have to measure everything by a body of revenue. Uh, we can now start to measure ourselves on outcomes and, and non-linear aspects of growth, which are IP-oriented and domain-oriented. All right, Meyer, we, we have to wrap, but uh, give you the last word. What are the areas that you're going to focus on in the next, say, 12 to 18 months in the partnership? Any levers that you want to, to turn, things that you want to accelerate in your go-to-market? Yeah, great question. So just before I go on to the focus areas, I just do want to mention that you know, Wipro is one of those partnerships where we've got excellent tops down and bottoms up alignment between the two companies. So our CEOs are completely aligned. The executive sponsor from HPE, who is Arun Chandra, the Chief Operations Officer of the Enterprise Group, is extremely aligned with Bala, who is the President of their Manufacturing and High Tech Vertical. And at an execution level, Dave and me are completely aligned. So I think that really augurs well for a world-class partnership. Uh, in terms of what I would really like to fast track is just the ability to move faster, given the rate at which the world is changing and digital transformation is happening. Just on the way in, Dave and me were talking about how can we just have that ability to move faster than what we're already doing. So I think speed is of essence these days and uh, I really hope that between HP and Wipro, we are able to move at the pace at which the world is changing. Right, and it's changing fast. Yeah. Gentlemen, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It's great thanks. to see you. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. Paul and I will be back with our next guest. We're live from HPE Discover London. Be right back. Thank you.